Section 1. You will hear a telephone conversation between a customer and the receptionist at a courier company. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 8. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning. This is Sam speaking. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Marco and I'm calling to inquire about sending some goods to Canada. The destination country is Canada. So, you write Canada in the space provided. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 8. Good morning. This is Sam speaking. How may I help you? Hi, my name is Marco, and I'm calling to inquire about sending some goods to Canada. No problem. What's your full name, please, Marco? My middle name is Pronto. That's P-R-O-N-T-O. Sorry, Marco, just your surname will be fine. That's all we need for the form. It's Sebriana Tori. That's C-E-B-R-I-A-N-A-T-O-R-I. -A -A Great. And your address, please? I live on Grimsby Place. Grimsby Place. OK. But wait, you mean the address from where the goods will be collected? Right. Uh, in that case, I'd better give you my mum and dad's address... My stuff is there temporarily until I make the move. Same street, house number 25 in Grimsby, and the postcode is GB86BY. Now, Marco, tell me what you'd like to have shipped. I'm moving to Canada, so I have a fairly big container for my belongings, you understand. Of course. What are the dimensions? It's two metres high, one and a half across, and three metres long. My, that's huge. Tell me about it. Moving day is going to be a nightmare. And what will this container contain, then? Well, to start with, there's my television. I'm also taking a brand new sofa bed with me, as well as my fridge freezer and home computer. I see. That all sounds rather valuable. Do you know the total value of the goods in the container? Yeah, I estimate about £5,000. Before listening to the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 9 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 9 to 10. Excellent. Now, shipping to Canada is not by any means cheap these days, so this is going to cost you £500? That would nearly pay for a new TV and sofa. It's a lot of money, isn't it? But as I said, shipping is an expensive business. How do you intend to pay then, Marco? Credit card, OK. Fine. Uh, I assume you are the cardholder. Actually, it's my sister's account. Mine is a little tight for me at the moment with the expense of the move, so it's either a case of ask sis or ask the parents. Which would you choose? I see what you mean. OK, I'll take the details in a moment and confirm the collection date. But first, let me just ask you a few questions about your move to Canada. The Canadian government requires all shipping companies to carry out a thorough check before agreeing to ship goods into the country. And part of that check is a personal profile of our customers, you see. So, uh, why are you moving to Canada? My girlfriend's Canadian. I'm going to live with her. And what will be your employment status over there? Well, I'm travelling on a working holiday visa... 
but I hope to secure a work-sponsored visa shortly after arrival. Let's see. Uh, a holiday visa? No, a working holiday visa. That allows me to stay in the country for 12 months as opposed to 60 days with a holiday visa. OK, no. That's the end of Section 1. You have half a minute to check your answers.